Hi everyone, Foxy here. Look who have decided to show his face. Our one and only Bear. <sighs> hey everyone, it's nice to finally meet you. I'm here too, you know. But yeah, don't mind me. Since everyone is here, let's start with this week's country. We are going to... Norway! Here we are again on the Northern Europe. Norway is one of the three Scandinavian countries. The capital is Oslo and the population is 5.3 million. Official language is Norwegian. Like other Nordic countries, Norway also has a very high rate of English speaking population. So you will have no trouble. Norway is a natural beauty with its fjords, mountains, and lakes, which by the way there are 450,000. If you are an outdoorsy person, it has limitless opportunities for you. Skiing, hiking, cycling, fishing, canoeing, kayaking, wildlife safaris. In Norway, there is no need to stay indoors. Even if you are not into any of this, its beauty is just enough reason to be there. On top of that, it's one of the best places on earth to watch Aurora Borealis, aka Northern Lights. Nah, Polar Nights are my personal favorite. I can't sleep without lights bothering me. Come on, they're nothing like the midnight sun. Winter sure has those things, but summer, man, never ending day. That's what I'm talking about. Also, you can roam freely and camp wherever you want, except private properties and nature parks. I changed my mind! That's my favorite! <sighs> no way! Sure, it's a peaceful place. No wonder why it's one of the most livable country. But everything comes with a cost. It's the second most expensive country on Europe and fourth on world. By the way, Norwegian currency is Norwegian Kron. One euro approximately 9.5 kronas. One dollar approximately 8 kronas. If those things didn't convince you, I'm sure this will. In Norway, local education is free for both local and international students. What? Really? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You only have to pay a little semester fee. It grants you membership to the Student Welfare Organization, access to health services, counseling and sport facilities, and official student card which can give you reduced fares on public transport and lower ticket price to cultural events and eligibility for exams. There are several higher education options. Oslo, Bergen, Tromsø and Trondheim are student cities. Local education is free of charge, sure, but not all of the higher education options are. Some private institutions will charge tuition fees. <coughs> application process is a little bit different. For bachelor's degree studies taught in Norwegian, application must be sent to the Norwegian universities and colleges admission service. For programs taught in English, application must be sent directly to the institution where you want to study. Don't forget that documents which are not in English, Norwegian, Swedish or Danish must be translated by an authorized translator. When you are applying for a program in Norway, there is an important list you should check before making an application. GSU list! Higher Education Entrance Qualification for Foreign Applicants It's especially important for bachelors. For some countries, there are certain requirements and that's what you are going to find in this list. Also check out the website for specific entry requirements that your university and program demands both for bachelor's and master's studies. If you are looking for English taught program, you are lucky that there are so many options for both bachelor's and master's programs. But of course, Norwegian or English, you have to prove your language proficiency. For English proficiency, there are several recognized tests, courses and scores. For country or program specific exceptions, you gotta check the GSU list. Application deadlines can vary from university or program, but generally these are the important dates. And for non-European Union applicants, it's pretty early, so don't forget to be ready in time for your application.
Scholarships are available for studies, internship, research, work placement. But not for all countries. You should check the website for country-specific information. For those of you who wants to work, there is an hour limitation. You are allowed to work up to 20 hours a week during term time. You can work full-time only in semester breaks. If you are a citizen of European Union, you don't need a work permit. Whoa! Just perfect! <sighs> but if you are not, you will need not only a work permit, but also a statement from the institution authorizing that the work won't affect your studies, and a letter from the employer confirming the student's job offer. <laughs> it is time for some money at all. You know what this means? Living expenses. Norway is a bit expensive than other European cities, actually the second most expensive. It is because Norway has a very high standard of living. So, you gotta keep your options open. For shopping, you can prefer smaller ones and keep your eyes open for grocery store discounts. These are the numbers without the housing expenses. Housing is an another important expense. Accommodation on university halls are limited, so you might need to rent a private apartment. Public transportation is a little bit expensive, even with a student discount. But you can always bike, right? <laughs> Alright folks, that's all for this week. We have got amazing news. We are starting educational news videos here on Study Abroad channel. Don't forget to take a look and subscribe. Stay tuned.